bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over some microwave defenses, and we're also going to be scouting our map, looking for some microwaves to take down, uh, see if we can find some tips and tricks to, uh, to go about uh, going against them. So, we're back on the ice base today, and I accidentally left out my thumbnail base, which I do have a habit of doing, um, on this account. So, we lost a ton of victory points. Uh, we, we got raided uh, we got raided a bunch of times, but I'll go ahead and show you this one was actually kind of funny um, The guy ended up losing a bunch of grenadiers somehow um, It just goes to show you the the amount of power that these ice statues do have now. I was kind of hoping that um, That someone was just gonna try to go for a uh, like a smoky warrior or smoky zuka or something and not know that uh, That you have you have to actually shock the microwavers before you go near them even under smoke and just get completely wrecked That would have been kind of funny. So I guess it was an attempt at a troll base. That's what we should have said instead of we left out, out our thumbnail base. We tried a troll base today, guys. And unfortunately, everybody um, everybody knew how to take it down. But I mean, look at this. Like, this guy's just getting pelted by rockets. Like, why not just switch to Zookas and then go up and get one shock in on the other side of the of the HQ? But that's none of my business, guys. So, chicken's looking a little, a little weird right now. The filter thing on my camera is all messed up. Um... But, uh, but yeah, we don't want to take down Dr. Terrence. We want to go ahead and find some bases with microwaves. Let's see if we can scout out a couple of your guys. So we'll go ahead and we'll just take down um, a few of these guys here. But uh, but yeah, let me know what your favorite uh, layout is for taking down microwavers. Or not taking down, for uh, your, your favorite defensive layout for using microwaves. I was thinking about putting, um, I feel like two microwavers and a damage amp would be a pretty beefy combination. Um, especially if you put them like just at a range where you can't shock both of them at the same time I think that would be pretty uh, annoying to deal with so we'll go one and we'll go two oops there's a hot pot that's okay we'll lose a couple zookas there but not too many um, and then we'll go like this we'll get taunt going up like that and we'll go with a shock we'll go with a shock right about here right about here and then a med kit for the win guys uh, let's get another med kit out just because we can come on zookas come on I probably should have saved the med kit and gone with a taunt, but I think we're going to be fine. Boom. CTJ goes down. And um, and yeah, so a few different ways you can deal with microwavers. Uh, if you're just trying to simply smoke past it, you can actually throw a shock down uh, first and then just continue on uh, continue on your walk. Obviously, that's going to use up a shock to do that, but um, that's one of the ways to do it. Obviously, anything else, you're either going to have to take it out or um, completely go around it. So... This guy's got no microwave. Let's see, uh, Lucifer Snow, if he has a microwave. He doesn't have a microwave, but he does have a Simo. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this guy down next. He's online, okay. So we'll leave uh, we'll leave Lucy alone, and we'll see what Ghost is up to over here, guys. So we're heading on over to the Ghost House. Uh, we'll refresh that one and see what Fetty's up to. Uh, he's got the Diamond Crab Trophy and the Iron Haste Trophy. I'm not seeing a ton of people with uh, this one's so easy. We might as well just take it down. Uh, I'm not seeing a ton of people that actually went ahead and got the uh, the diamond shoe trophy. So uh, I, I I saw a lot of people saying it was easier. I lost. I, I saw a lot of people saying it was harder. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the the latest Mega Crab. You thought it was easier or harder? Uh, in my opinion, the crab overall was easier, but I found getting the uh, the diamond trophy at stage 80 was a little bit more challenging. Uh, it just, if nothing else, a little bit more time consuming. Like it, I don't know if you needed much more skill to get there necessarily, but. Uh, you definitely needed to put more time in the crab, uh, in my opinion. So, uh, we'll go like this, we'll go like that. One more shot for the Zookas, and heavy shots, pellets, and boom. So, Fatty's gonna go down. He's all offense. Uh, he's got a collection of trees on the back of his base. Interesting. He has the same waterfall as Chicken, kind of a copycat of Chicken's base, but, uh, we'll leave that as it may. And let's see, let's, let's continue the hunt for a microwave, guys. I do want to see if we can take one down here. And just try some different tactics against it. So this guy's got a Simo and nothing else. So we'll leave him alone. A terrorist, that's a fun name. Uh, and what do we got here? We got a damage amp, we got a laser. Hmm. So it seems like nobody is that excited about these uh, on way down at 700 VP anyways. I mean, most of these people probably quit the game at this point to be this low. But uh, okay, so this guy has a hot pot, a grappler, and a Simo. So we'll freshen him up. And we'll see what uh, Chris Chris Key's got. Uh, he's got a Doom Cannon. Man, he's got nothing. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this guy down. Uh, just because it's going to be easy. And we will get back on track this weekend, guys, with the uh, 
Oh, what is it uh, this weekend with the uh, with the ice base uh, push stream? I don't think I'm actually gonna have time to do a tribal reset live um, show tonight. Maybe we will. It just kind of depends. Um, but we'll see what happens. So we'll go like this and like this, and we'll go bang and bang, and see what we can find here, guys. We'll see what we can find. So we got bullet coming in hot. Uh, we'll go like that, and let's see what else we can do here. So we'll go with a shock right about here, and a shock right about there. And I'm going to save the gunboat energy for another taunt. Actually, it looks like we're not going to need it. And three shots, boom. Krisky goes down, just like that. Um, so yeah, if I didn't manage to do a tribal reset uh, live stream, guys, and I guess um, probably not doing a follow-up video, uh, let me know what your favorite of the new tribes is. I hope that we get something um, similar to Troop Speed or Troop... Um, just something that we had uh, kind of on the Minecraft. So we'll go ahead and we'll refresh this base. Somebody's got to have a microwaver. Come on now, guys. Surely to God. This guy's got a... He's got a Doom Cannon. He's got a Grappler. And... He's got an Iron Crab Trophy. So we'll see what Jack's got, guys. He's got a Simo or a Simo. I still don't know the proper uh, way to say that. Um, okay, and this guy's got... What has he got? Nobody has microwavers. Why is everyone so scared of a microwaver? They're good defenses, guys. They're good defenses. They really change up how you scout a base, how you go about attacking and all that stuff. Um, they're just a huge game changer. Uh, okay, so this guy's got a shield and a doom cannon. Hmm. Where are the microwavers? None of them to be found, guys. So we'll, we'll dive on into this one. Uh, okay. So, we're gonna go like this. I don't know why I kicked this out of the screen there. Uh, more grapplers. We'll take this guy down. Just because I don't want the whole video to just be scouting. Um, so we'll go like that. And like this. And we'll get the Zookas going up like that. And we'll go up like that. Next. Uh, go like this. And like this. And we'll go... Oops, I think we cleared on that grappler, so we'll go like that, and like this. We'll go bang, and bang, we'll get a health pack going out nice and early. Then we'll get a taunt going off. Um, okay, so we'll go like this, and we'll flare right onto the HQ. And thankfully, this guy does have a shock launcher upgrading. Uh, so we should be okay to just go ahead and just smash this core. Um, get a nice, easy core rush in, just like that. And, um... And yeah, sometimes sometimes the bases are easy to take down on the ice account. Sometimes you you get layouts or uh, guys that have a little bit more building health, and it becomes it becomes quite the challenge. But uh, easy breezing today. Uh, okay, so let's go. We're running out of bases here to check for microwavers, guys. Uh, this guy's got two doom cannons. Find new opponent. Uh, D bro, what do you got for us, D bro? He's got doom cannons and he's got grapplers. Now all these bases look easy to take down, but. We want microwavers, guys. We want microwavers. We can't be the only one that has a microwaver. That was the easiest base in the world that we just refreshed. Holy goodness, man. Why is everyone so scared of these defenses? I guess I guess the issue is, no, like, with 12 hours, you would have had to have been on, like, right away and, uh, and jam it pretty quickly and then come back and put it out on your base. I guess that's a lot of activity to ask for for 700 victory points, but we'll see what we can find, guys. We'll see what we can find. This guy has three grapplers! Three grapplers! What could you, like, how many tank medic hits are you taking, my friend, to have to put out three grapplers? Like, that's just silly at that point. Uh, grappler, damage amp, doom cannon. Everyone's going with the tried and true. Nobody's putting out the new crazy, uh, wacky defenses, it looks like. Uh, I do see a lot of, uh, of, of iron crab trophies, though, so, uh, there's that guy. So, we'll go ahead, we'll take this guy down. He's got an iron, uh, haste trophy, as well as an iron... Um, an anniversary uh, trophy, which is pretty interesting. Uh, nice little combination of gray there. Uh, okay, so we'll go like, I'll throw one right there, I guess, and then we'll just kind of, let's just launch everybody out all at once. Just a big friggin' festival of the Boom Beach troops. So we'll go like that, and we'll go like this, and, but yeah, uh, so you can shock the microwave to go around it. Um, you can do, uh, you can use taunt, uh, well, you can't use taunt on it at all. Wow, okay, we missed a you can do different things and um, mainly just mainly just avoiding them and having to shock them and and, uh, and take them out manually is is pretty well the only like good way you can go about uh, dealing with them. 
Other than that, they are a pretty big nuisance, so I think a Shock Launcher might actually hit all the Zookas right there, but it's not going to matter, guys. Boom! Mad Fock goes down. There's only room for one back in the uh, in this video, guys, and that is going to be from the chicken. So, Mad Fock goes down. Back, back, back. So, guys, that is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure you let me know your tips and tricks for using the, uh, for using the microwave or down below in the comments. And, uh, yeah, we'll see, you, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Um... What do we what do we say? Uh, chicken uh, chicken finished. Uh,